Okay, here's my latest telescope setup for astrophotography. This is actually my fourth telescope since I was a kid. Started this back when I was a kid as far as having an interest in astronomy and everything. So this is my actually second computerized telescope. Um, previous one I sold on Craigslist and started getting to the astrophotography side as far as wanting to take photos since everything nowadays seems like you could, you know, digital cameras now is a lot easier to do all this stuff. You know, it's a big learning curve, but it's uh, a lot of information on the internet and forums on how to get started in this stuff. But to start off, this is a Celesteron. Uh, the next star 8SC right here and I sold the regular mount the um, azimuth and out, well as an out mount I sold that one on cloudy nights got the AVX mount right here this is the uh, AVX and with everything loaded on here I'm at almost at 22 pounds I know I'm pushing the limit of this 30 pound max for this mount right here people say you want to go half of that but uh, I'm pushing it I'm going to just roll with it for right now front I have just a Celestron uh, dew shield on the front right here and I have a, um, a dew heater strip right here on the 8SE and I also have one on my um, Orion short tube guide scope. I didn't need one at first but once I started doing some photos where I was pretty much pointing almost straight up one night I came out and I had all kind of dew all on the inside because this dew shield right here wasn't enough I mean scope was pointing almost straight up so dew was forming on the lens right here so I just put a little small four inch one right here on there it seems to be doing pretty good uh, as far as a uh, guide camera i have the lobe star x2 guide camera and also this orion short tube that has the uh yeah, focal length of 400 millimeters that came as a package deal it came with the uh, orion extension back here so that the guide camera could achieve focus as far as for focusing on guide stars and everything and this is a Telrad um, finder scope right here. And around this side, for um, to control the dew heaters, I actually have a Orion dew zapper right here. I got this used off of Cloudy Nights also. A lot of stuff I got used from Cloudy Nights because um, I guess other people upgrading over the years, they start to sell stuff. But I'm just running two um, devices right here. I have ports for two more. And I'm always labeling everything so I know what goes where with... Um, what wire goes where, and I always into wire management kind of deal. Couldn't make everything real neat because it's not too much to mount everything on, but I have three power supplies. One is a five amp for the scope. Another one is um, a five amp for dew heater controller. Another one is a, a five amp that runs uh, the camera system, the cooler for the camera right here. But I had to put two counterweights on here to achieve balance on everything. As far as for polar alignment, I did use a regular polar scope, but I got tired of getting all on the ground and trying to line and look through uh, this piece back here all the way through here. So I ended up getting a QHY pole master. And once I pull the line, I just disconnect it and just hang that back up here like that. But this camera really, you could pull a line in like maybe a couple minutes now. It's so much easier just by looking at it on the screen and everything. And what else do I have on here? Um, Back here in the back, as far as the camera, I was using, um, first I started with a Nikon DSLR, then I changed over to a Canon uh, T4i for about a month and a half, but I'm getting a lot of uh, thermal noise because it's summertime and springtime, there's so much noise coming through on the images, so I just, people kept saying you need, a cool, you need to get a cool camera, so I ended up just changing out to the ASI 1600mm, uh, the monochrome cool camera with the cooler, it's got the USB, uh, hub right here so you could plug a USB cable into the, uh, the filter wheel that's right here and haven't had a chance to try it yet because now our temperature has been pretty much 100 during the daytime nighttime has been all clouds and haze and all kind of clouds rolling through for the past about a month or so, or so so I can't really get in here to test this camera so I, I took a lot of time and just put all my cables together try to make everything neat and still waiting to test it um, using uh, sequence generator sequence generator pro that's all for to control everything and this is an eight position filter wheel it came as a kit as far as um it's got the rgb well red green blue luminance 
um, oxygen three, um, HA and sulfur, and also put um, one of my light pollution filters in here just to fill up the eight position. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, everything's all the way. It does work with the software. Cools down like it's supposed to, but I need to try everything. As far as my cable management, um, when I put everything together, everything just sort of hangs right here, but I don't want any stress on any of these USB jacks. So what I do right here is after I get everything plugged in, I just hang that right here just like that. It takes the strain relief off these cables and doesn't mess up anything with all the movements. And this other part of the cable comes down here, just connects the zip tied everything up right here. I have a dedicated USB 3.0 a powered hub right here because three USB devices. You got the, um, the camera, which includes, um, it's also running the filter wheel, and the Lobe Star guide camera comes in, and plus the handset controller. I'm using the USB jack on here, and that just plugs right in here. And I have one main USB umbilical that goes to the computer, to the USB 3.0 port on the computer. And as far as um, I put a power strip on the side right here with everything, then I just have one main power cord that connects to an extension cable that's outside. And I marked my, um, I have three pads on the ground for the legs, for the tripod legs, and I marked everything. So all I have to do is, everything is pre-leveled. I just put my um, sh vibration suppression pads down and put the legs on them and everything's level and just turn on the pole alignment and everything usually lines right on up and we're good to go. So hopefully we get some clear nights where I could actually go in and start testing this camera out and see how these photos come out. Also this camera I had to get the um, uh, the guys at High Point Scientific uh, told me that I needed to get these this uh, Verilock T2 extender to achieve focus uh, with this camera right here as far as being able to focus. So I, this is the 20 to 29 millimeter. You can adjust this and achieve focus. Because on the back here, I just have the visual back and it goes into the Celestron focal reducer right here. And that's about it, but I still can't test it because cloudy nights. Hopefully, I get a chance to test it out pretty soon. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.